can assure you, Mr. President, and the people of Ghana, that the factory in its full operation will provide massive benefit for the people and the government of Ghana. These anticipated benefits include the provision of employment for approximately 1,860 people. We strongly believe this will significantly contribute to reduce the youth unemployment problem of Ghana. Your Excellence, the President, your government's policy of one district, one factory encourage investors to set up a factory in all every district of Ghana, which we believe is the best idea to move Ghana's development forward and uh, fast. Forty years ago, China was not more developed than Ghana today. The Chinese government made a simple policy of rural industrialization, and the result is what we see in developed China today. It is with considerable pleasure that I join you to commission the Twyford Ceramics Factory here in Shama. I say with considerable pleasure because the establishment of this factory is a concrete manifestation that the new paradigm of economic development which this administration is vigorously pursuing of insisting on value addition industrial activities within a conducive and business friendly environment can make headway. Ladies and gentlemen, it is common knowledge that in recent years, industry has not done well. From a growth rate of 15.1% in 2008, the last year of the government of the outstanding Ghanaian statesman, His Excellency John Ajikum Kufour, the second president of the, four, of the Fourth Republic, Growth in industry slumped to negative 0.5% in 2016. However, as a result of the normalization of the power situation in the country and the implementation of government's pro-business policies, I believe our objective of shifting the focus of our economy from taxation to production is bearing fruit. In 2016, in 2017, industry grew at 17.7%, a radically marked improvement on its abysmal 2016 performance in the last year of the Mahama administration. We acknowledge that unless we industrialize with the goal of adding value to our primary products. We cannot create the necessary numbers of high paying jobs that will enhance the living standards of the mass of our people. Raw material producing economies do not yet create prosperity for the masses. The way to ensuring access to prosperity is the industrial development of our country. It is for this reason that I congratulate the chairperson, board of directors and management of Sunda International for the decision to establish the factory here in Shamar, which will not only reduce our country's ceramic tiles import bill, but will also serve as a source of employment for many young men and women resident here. I'm also happy to note that 95% of the factory's raw material needs will be sourced locally. The promoters of this project should work towards increasing this figure to 100%. In furtherance of government's commitment to improve the business environment, Ghana National Gas Company Limited, Ghana Gas, 
has responded favorably to the request of the company for a reduction of the price per unit gas supply to the company, and indeed, to industries across the country. <laughs> Through the new industrial development tariff, authorized by the Minister for Energy, a new rate of 6.50 United States dollars per million British thermal units, MMBTU, that is the measure in the industry, has been approved for industry as against the previous rate of US dollar 8.84 <laughs> per million British thermal units. Ghana Gas notified you of this in his letter dated November 22nd, 2017. This government is determined to enhance the competitiveness of Ghanaian industries. I'm equally glad to note that this factory is employing the latest state-of-the-art technology and environmentally sensitive methods of operation. I can assure the partners of this project that under my watch, Ghana will be a great place to do business. The experienced Minister for Trade and Industry will work with you to address any challenges that may arise but if indeed it becomes necessary, which I hope it will not, to go higher up the chain of authority, I want you to know that my doors will always be open. I do, on the other hand, insist that on your part, you play according to the rules and regulations of the sector and the laws of the country as a whole. I wish all stakeholders in this project great success. We are on the threshold of something remarkable in Ghana, and I'm pleased to have those involved in the Twyford Ceramics Factory as partners in our country's exciting new journey. Accordingly, I hereby declare Twyford Ceramics Factory duly commissioned. Thank you.